One of our favorite World War II vehicles is the GMC two and a half ton truck, the Jimmy. It could be seen soldiering away on various fronts throughout World War II in various guises. In fact, there were countless variants of this ubiquitous workhorse. And here's a pretty rare example, the Leroy Compressor. The vehicle was designed to support engineers and over 8,000 were made. What makes it unique is the second engine at the rear that drove a three-cylinder air compressor used to power a vast array of air tools. This gloriously maintained Leroy was on display at the Solent Overlord Show. Its owner agreed to give us a guided tour. Well, this is a 1942 Leroy compressor on a GMC body. It's got a uh, sheet power driver. It's got uh, a pump for pumping water out of ditches, etc. Uh, jackhammers, rock drills. On the other side, it's got a two-man chainsaw, skill saw, pneumatic grease gun, uh, wood boring kit, and it's even got unused uh, nail driver, drive six-inch nails into huge, great tree trunks. The separate four-cylinder petrol engine could engage the compressor via a clutch and start building air in a tank up to a pressure of 100 psi. The taps at the rear could then release the air to the air tools. And it was this workmanlike capability that drew its owner to the vehicle. I spent uh, about uh, 30 or 35 years uh, in pipelines, which included a lot of digging the roads up with one of these things, the jackhammer. So uh, as soon as I saw this for sale, I couldn't resist it. In actual fact, I saw it for sale on the uh, Thursday morning in the magazine, and I went to Belgium that afternoon. It cost me £6,700 to buy, but the time I got it back and spent money on it, because it had no lights, no brakes, a few other things, it probably stands me in nearly £10,000 now, which, for a, quite a rare machine, I think there's still value for money. When I bought this, this was in the Dutch Army to 1952, and then it was stored until about 2005 by a private person. And uh, so it's only done 3,500 miles, and the Leroy engine has only done 171 working hours. Without doubt, this is one of the most interesting vehicles in the GMC range. And at Scale War Machines, we're all about modeling. So what options do you have to recreate this old work? If you want to build a replica of this vehicle in 1 35th scale, there's currently only two resin conversion options, one of which we got our hands on. The problem is, this shows the compressor is closed up with no engine or detail. This limits the interest in the most unique part of the whole vehicle. Whilst the casting is fairly good, our example had some damage and moulding imperfections. Some of the small details, like the locker latches, are good, but the lockers are moulded shut. To get this conversion into respectable shape, you're looking at a scratch build. So it's really little more than a starting point, and that's exactly how we'll be using it. It will provide the base for a more thorough build using the Tamiya or Italeri GMC kits. Stay tuned to Scale War Machines to see how we get on.